Angela Giles here. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about planning and what you need to do on a daily basis for your business. And the reason that I want to talk to you about this is because I truly believe that you need to have a plan in order to make your business successful instead of just going out there and throwing mud, you know, mud all over the walls. And I did that for a long time until I truly got the, the art of internet marketing and the art of, you know, growing personally within myself and the art of being grateful and service to others. But what you need is a plan because you have to encompass all of that. And I would go out and I'd throw mud on this wall and I'd try this thing and I'd try that thing and pretty soon, you know, I found things that would stick and things that, you know, didn't work. And, but I spent more time throwing mud than really... Um, truly finding the value of things that did work. So what I have learned after you know several years is that you need to have a plan of attack. And when I say attack, I'm using that in a good way. What I'm saying is, is that you need to do personal growth every day, even if it's 10 minutes. You need to have your marketing plan that you do every day. You need to have a plan every day of the things that you have to do in your own life to keep balancing your life, whether it's your day job, if you have a day job, whether it's if you have children, you know, taking care of your children or a significant other, if you're in school, if you know, you're retired, you know, you have things in your life that you have to maintain. I am a mommy. I have three little boys. I have a household to run. Whether or not I have them vacuum, which I do now because I've learned to delegate, I still have to balance that and I still have all those things in my life. Whether you go to church or you have a hobby or, you know, you want a political group, whatever it may be. I mean, there's so many different things out there that each of us do that you have to have a plan. And, and you know, it's okay. The plan doesn't have to be rigid because for some people that works well. Most of us, well, at least me, I don't like a rigid plan. I have a set schedule that I do every single day. Now, it doesn't mean that necessarily I do everything at the same time. But, you know, I always get up. I have my breakfast. I do some spiritual stuff for me because that is what my personal growth is all about. I love to read. I love to read personal health books. I'm, I'm a Christian, so I like to read scriptures and things like that. I'm not saying you have to do any of those things, but I'm just telling you what works for me. Some people do yoga. Some people do you know, a self-help book. Some people listen to CDs on their way to work. But my point being is, is that you have to have a plan. So my plan is, you know, and I'll just give you an example of what I do every day, is I get up, I have breakfast, we make the kids lunch, I do a little bit of personal growth, my kids and I have a little bit of time to talk about the day, I get them off to school, and then I sit down, and depending on the day, I may run one to preschool, and then I come home, I may work on some videos, I have five things that I do every single day for my business, whether it's sending off my emails, doing my Twitter, my Facebook, my MySpace, you know, answering some of my emails, um, talking to a couple people that work for me on the side, making sure that they're getting their daily things done that I pay them to do, and things of that nature. So I always make sure that I have those things done. So that way, when the other parts of my life come home, which are my three little children and my husband, I have the time set aside for them because I have my tasks. Now, I need not get to every single task that I need to be done, have done because something will happen or maybe this web page went down and I have to have you know, get that fixed or something like that. But I generally have a plan and I don't overwhelm myself. You know, I have my five basic things that I do every single day for my business and I try to get those out. Now, when my children get home and my husband gets home, we have our family time and I take care of those responsibilities. Now, if I didn't finish something during the day, then I make sure that I allot myself like a half an hour every night, sometimes an hour depending on the day, where I can finish up those things. Sometimes I don't get completely done, but I know that the next day, then I will add that to my list, or not, then I say, okay, you know, that didn't get done today, so I'm going to double up on that the next day and take something else away that may be not as important. So what I'm trying to say is, is that if you have a plan, once you have sat down and figured out what your plan is for your personal growth, your marketing tactics, you know, finding that balance in your life, whether it's, you know, your job, say you work 8 to 5, well, you come home, you have your regular stuff, you have to do dinner, maybe you have children or just whatever you do going to the gym, then maybe you have two hours at night that you do work on your business and those two hours are dedicated. Um, if all else fails, I tell people, you know what, make sure you take 10 minutes of personal growth and 90 minutes to focus on your business every single day, you know, Monday through Friday, so that you have a plan and if you can have a plan it doesn't have to be rigid but it will really help you know that every single day you're putting forth consistent effort and putting forth consistent effort in personal growth and in marketing and 
talking to people and prospecting, consistent effort will bring a solid business to fruition. Meaning that if you are sporadic, your momentum will never like peak. It will never peak. And that's the whole issue here. If you're consistent and consistently building every single day, it doesn't have to be perfect because mine is never perfect. There's always something that changes or etc. But I have a plan. And I'm consistently working my business, my personal growth. I'm growing, my business is growing, and my business, the momentum just goes and goes and goes. And I'm always, you know, building my business. It's great. And I have a successful business as a result of it. So that's what I'm telling you. It's so important to have a plan. And this way, even if you get off track for a day or two days, even if it's a week, you can always get back on track because you have your plan. So I encourage you to, you know, before you really get into the mechanics of your business, to sit down and figure out, you know, what is your life? Develop that attitude of gratitude. Figure out what your personal growth is. Figure out what your basic marketing tactics are. And then go for it. Set a plan up and follow that plan. And don't be, you know, frustrated if you only can spend an hour a day. If you can only spend two hours a day. If you can spend four hours a day, great. But just develop a plan and stick to that plan. And if for some reasons, you know, something happens, something comes up, don't beat yourself. Just get back on track the next day. It's kind of like dieting, you know. You just do the best you can and keep growing and eventually you will start to see the momentum coming, you'll start to see that you've changed, you've grown, you've grown personally, and your business will explode. God bless you. I would love to chat with you online. You can find my information all over the web. You know, come visit me on Skype, comment on my videos, <laughs> please rate my videos. I love it. It's fun for me. I would love to hear from you. I love hearing your personal story and what I can do to be of service to you. Make it a great day, and please don't forget to rate this video.